Hello and welcome back to The Broken Doll and today I come to you and it is daytime hours. I am coming to you with Ann Baby and um, we're going to talk about Ann Baby. Ann Baby is made by the company, I think it's called Somaso or something like this. Anyways, it's, she's European. Um, I think she is. Man, I'm terrible at this. I used to know more about it but I think she's European. Anyways, it doesn't matter. All the same, she is a medical doll. She is used, there's resuscitation and she is not that. This is called Anne Care Baby. She's what helps teach new nurses who are going to work in obstetrics, gynecology with babies. And so anyways, it teaches them how to care for a newborn. Also, they were used to help new parents who were first time mom and dads how to um, take care of a newborn. Now, what are some of the features that she has? I think it's called the Fontenot on top of the head, which is the soft spot, which is right up in here, and you can press on it, you can see it. She also has the open mouth so that you can feed her, put a soother in her mouth. She has nostril holes so you can clean them. She also has ear holes that can be cleaned as well. She also has a rib cage, and she also is sexed um, female. And she also has a um, little bum hole for rectal temperatures. But why do I have her? Why do I want a doll like this? Well, I'll be honest with you, back in the late 70s, early 80s, reborns were not heard of. If you wanted something close to a um, full-size newborn, this is what people were going to, were, to, were towards these. These were um, made, yes, for medical, but uh, the doll world picked up on them. And people were going crazy over them. They really, really were. It's the time when Cabbage Patch were coming out and all this stuff. The doll world was coming alive more than ever. I mean, it was alive, but little shoots of energy were coming through. And this was one of the shoots of energy. You couldn't, get, like I said, you could not buy a reborn. They were unheard of at the time. So this is what people went to. There were many others as well. There was Amy, Bobby, Anthony. I think um, Amy and Anthony were twins. There was baby John. There was all kinds of them that you could buy. They were pricey for their day, not maybe so much today, but back in their day they ran about five, um, 500, $150 to $200. She came in a bathtub with little wafers that it, once you, um, you feed her a bottle, it would run through down through here, come out, and it would dissolve the wafer to look like baby poo so that you could clean up a baby that had a poopy diaper. That's what it was trying to portray for its time. She was also featured in the Doll Readers magazine many, many times, over and over. And as other ones came out after her, they were shown right in amongst her. She would fade out and new ones were coming in. I had about three, four of them. I had about four. I had Amy. I had Anne, Amy, Billy, and John. Billy was a different category. Um, he wasn't filled like this doll. He was filled with liquid. And he would slosh around. He was very cumbersome to carry around. Beautiful little face on him. A nice uh, sleeping baby. Open mouth as well. But he just sloshed. And that's one of the best I can. You can hear him gurgling and all this stuff. Not a very nice doll as far as picking up and, and putting down and dressing and all that. He was very... Um, a cumbersome, I would put it that way. And I sold him, I, I sold all mine back as I was getting married and you put away these things and I didn't have room for them because we had a tiny little apartment and um, there was no room for dolls. I had a few, but not many. And um, I was sad to let Ann go, but I did. And I let Billy go. Now, Billy went to a lady who told me years later he dried right up. She put him in a um, storage unit and he was dried right up. You couldn't do much. I don't know if you could fill him up again with a, li a good liquid and then seal it. I wouldn't even tempt it. Um, I was just glad I got some money out on him. And I know I got less than what I put into him. But he was, like I said, a very, he was a big, a big doll too. A little bit bigger than that. Just a little bit bigger than him. Her. And so anyways, he, but, um, he was a nice doll all the same in its own way. I liked him, you know, for dressing and whatnot. But he was just, like I say, very cumbersome. Um, but she, her, she, Anne was always my favorite and same with Amy. Down the road, I am going to buy myself an Amy doll again. I don't want them all. I think I just want Anne and Amy. And because those were the two, while I was dating my husband, um, my husband and I, I shared these, these dolls with, and he had no problem with it. My husband was always good when it came to the dolls. He enjoyed them just as much as what I did. So I knew he was a, uh, he, it was a given to, to marry him because he liked my dolls. He liked what I liked, you know. He wasn't like particularly fond of them or anything, but he knew I liked it, so he was going to like it, that type of thing. 
But anyways, um, yeah, um, she's a she's a, a very washable doll, very easy to wipe down. It doesn't take much at all. She sits back in a buggy um, with other dolls of mine, and I, I don't get her out and show her too much anymore. And I would like to. She's still in her winter outfit, as you can see. So it's time to change her and get her looking pretty again. So we're going to get her some bare tootsies again. I love this little outfit. This 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 here came together as a set. And um, this, I, I bought this all thrift store. Um, what I'm going to put on her is from the thrift store. Just to let you know, this is all thrift store finds. I don't um, buy very often, very rarely do I buy brand new unless it's on sale or I just got to have it type of attitude. You know, comes across me and go, oh, I, that, that's coming home with me. You know, and that, it, I, I got to watch it because there's only so much room. And um, I love these little wool outfits, so I just adore them. And when I see them, I don't see them very often, but when I do, I pick the odd one up. I've seen some others, but they just didn't quite reach out to me like this little cranberry one did. Um, or fuchsia, whatever you want to call it. I call it cranberry, but I guess cranberry could be even darker, I guess. Watered down cranberry. There we go. <laughs> so anyways, we're going to change her out of this hot outfit. Yes, Anne. What do you think, Anne? You can see the structure of her body. She wears, um, I think, well... <sighs> It depends again, mostly three, zero to three months. That's what you got to put on her. Now, I'm not sure what this is. Uh, sometimes newborn will fit her, um, just depending on who makes it and how big it is. This is three months, right there. It says right on her, three months. So, you know, you can see this is by Little Planet. So, there you go. And like I say, this is used as well. What you can get from your thrift stores is wonderful. She could use a new diaper. I should have brought one in. Didn't even think about that because she's had this on for quite some time. Let's take a look. Cause sometimes these diapers start to break down. Well, it's not too bad. But anyways, as it may be, we will keep her in that one. And um, yeah, there we go. Gorgeous doll. She's a, she's a really beautiful doll. And to enjoy on the level of... Um, a reborn for its day was wonderful, you know, and um, I was a young girl at the time that I knew I, was, I wanted babies, and um, this kind of satisfied my my um, baby life, wanting babies, until I was married and everything, so there we go. So she's going to put on this little George outfit from Walmart. I have this little, just a, it's just a plain little... Um, little outfit, but they're the ones, you know, the plain little outfits are the ones that dress up the best, I always find. You can do so much more with them. So let's get her, her dressed here. Hopefully this fits her. There we go. Now she's like, almost like a um, silicone vinyl, I would put it, put it that way, the best way to describe her. I should have ironed her outfit. Her outfit's kind of wrinkly dinkly here. Oh, well, we're going to put it on, regardless how we feel. I might take it off after and, whoa, and iron it up. I didn't think it was this bad, but it is, Anne. This is bad. You need it ironed. I had my iron out. I did a bonnet. I should have taken this out and just given it a bit of a press. There we go. Well, it's cute all the same. Let's tie, get her done up at the back here, get her lifted. Now, this doll could be bathed. I rarely bathe mine, even when I had my first one. I usually just wipe them down. Now, I got this one off of Goodwill, um, Shop Goodwill, and believe me, I got it for a really good price. No one bid against me. No one cared, and I was like, keep that, keep going, keep going, and the next thing you know is I got her for something like, I don't know, it wasn't much. It was under $50.00. And you go on on um, eBay and you'll find out how much these, these little dolls cost. They're not cheap, by no means. Well, there we go, and you got your little bonnet on. There we go, we're dressed in our gingham. She's looking cute. Oh yeah, she's ready for summer. But I'm going to take this off afterwards and give it a pressing, just so that we don't see all these little wrinkles in her. But she isn't that cute on her. So anyways, yes, like I say, it's all in... Um, the use, like all from the used store, you don't have to dress your dolls expensive. This is not an expensive outfit. Like I say, it's, it's a Walmart outfit with a, I don't know where the bonnet came from. I've had it for years and I just dug it out. So anyways, I hope you enjoy seeing Anne here. She's a beautiful doll. And here's the little Pepperette. Pepper, 
Look at the camera. Let's get a look at the camera. Pepper. Pepper wants to say hello. Say hello, Pepper. He's jealous. Yeah. He doesn't have one, yeah. too. He wants to be put in gingham. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> put me in my gingham. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Anyways, have a great day, everybody. Tell me what you think of this if you want to. I mean, nice words, please. <laughs> and... Uh, <laughs> Give me a thumbs up if you like what you see here tonight. And if you want to see more of my dolls getting changed into their gingham, I will do that for you. Thanks again. Bye-bye.